Hello everyone, Nello is Kid here, and this is going to be a quick video looking at EIGRP authentication using uh, CSR 1000 Vs. Um, this is a CCIE blueprint topic, so authenticating uh, dynamic routing protocols. So I thought it would be worth just putting together a quick video looking at this. Now, in this setup, we already have two routers, two CSRs, and they're configured for basic IP connectivity. They have uh, EIGRP already configured, so we can take a quick look at that. And um, what we're going to do is essentially just configure authentication between the two of them um, to see how that is done. So we've got router 11 here, and if we just do a show run that's a little bit different on the uh, console of VMware but what you can see here is we already have uh, EIGRP configured so if I just do show IP EIGRP neighbors we can also see that we've got uh, neighbors as well um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at configuring uh, root 11 and also uh, root 10. So you can see I also um, have the neighbor here on gig 1 which is um, root 11. So to configure EIGRP um, authentication what we'll do is we're just going to global configuration mode and um, it's worth bearing in mind when you do this as well if you are um, SSH'd into a device you may lose connectivity depending on how you connect to that as well which is why I'm using the console uh, in this instance here. Um, so essentially EIGRP authentication we want to start by creating a key ring uh, or a keychain rather so we'll say keychain and then we'll just call it EIGRP uh, and then we'll give it an ID of 1 and then we'll do keystring and we'll just say for demonstration we're going to call this one uh, Cisco and that's it for the keychain and then under the interface where you want to configure authentication just enter that interface so in my case interface gig 1 and then what we're going to do is do IP authentication uh, and it's going to be keychain first and then it'll be EIGRP and we're using process 1 and then we need to give the name of the keychain which in my case is EIGRP that's what we called it and then we need to do IP authentication again and this time we're going to say mode EIGRP 1 and then we're going to use MD5 and that's essentially going to make use of that keychain that we've configured now when we do this the EIGRP authentication is going to go down as you can see there so if I just do show IP EIGRP neighbors you can see now we don't have any uh, neighbors and that's because we've not configured it on the interface that's connecting to uh, router 10 from router 11 so let's just head over to that one and you can see as well that the uh, neighbor has gone down there and we already have the keychain configured on this device so all we need to do is simply um, configure it on the uh, the interface so if we just do show IP interface brief um, I'll just check which interface that is so we're going to route a 10 so that's uh, Ethernet 2 gigabit Ethernet 2 so if we just do in interface gig 2 and we do again same commands IP authentication and we'll start with a keychain and it's going to be EIGRP1 and then we'll give it the keychain name and that's the same on this device uh, that's what we've configured and then IP authentication uh, this time mode EIGRP1 and then MD5 and we should start to see that adjacency come back and there you can see almost immediately that adjacency has come back up now so that means we've configured EIGRP authentication correctly on both sides. So if I do a uh, do show IP EIGRP 
neighbours. You can see now that we have uh, the new neighbour uh, there at the top there, which has been configured in the first gig too. And similarly with uh, router 10, we can also see that the adjacency has come up. So we'll just do do show IP uh, GP neighbour. And again, you can see that we've got that neighbor adjacency that's been formed. So relatively simple uh, configuring EIGRP authentication, but nevertheless, it is a CCIE security blueprint topic. Uh, so it's worth knowing how to do that.